Have you ever wondered how time might behave if you could move at high speeds, particularly at the speed of light? It's a question that has puzzled humans for centuries, leading to a fascinating concept known as time dilation. This idea, rooted deeply in the realm of physics, suggests that time doesn't tick the same way for everyone. Enter Albert Einstein, a name synonymous with genius. His theory of relativity introduces us to the intriguing and often counterintuitive world of time perception. In this world the faster you move the slower time appears to pass, a phenomenon that becomes significantly more pronounced as you approach the speed of light. Imagine for a moment living in a reality where time stretches, contracts and dances to the rhythm of light speed. It's a concept that challenges our everyday experiences and pushes the boundaries of our understanding. So, if you could move at the speed of light, time as you know it would behave very differently. Firstly, let's try to grasp the staggering speed of light. To put things into perspective, the speed of light is roughly 186,000 miles per second. Now that's quite a number to wrap our heads around, isn't it? Picture this. If we were to travel at the speed of light, we could circle the Earth's equator about seven and a half times in just one second. Yes, you heard it right, in just one second. But why does the speed of light matter so much? Well, it's not just about the speed. The fascinating thing about light is that it's the fastest thing in the universe and its speed is a universal constant. No matter where you are or how fast you're moving, the speed of light remains the same, clocking in at approximately 670 million miles per hour. This universal constant is denoted by the letter C in physics. This brings us to another interesting aspect, light years. A light year is a measure of distance, not time as the name might suggest. It represents the distance that light can travel in a year, which is roughly 6 trillion miles. It's a unit we use to measure astronomical distances, distances so vast that using miles or kilometers just wouldn't make sense. For instance, our closest star system, Alpha Centauri, is about 4.37 light years away. That means the light we are seeing today from Alpha Centauri actually left the star system more than four years ago. So, in a way, when we look at the stars, we are also looking back in time, so light is not only extremely fast but its speed is a constant that shapes our understanding of the universe. It helps us measure vast cosmic distances and in doing so, it offers a glimpse into the past, into the very history of the cosmos itself. Now how does moving at this incredible speed affect our perception of time? Let's delve into the fascinating concept of time dilation. According to Albert Einstein's theory of relativity, time is not a fixed entity. It's more like a river, ebbing and flowing depending on how fast you're moving relative to something else. This is a mind-bending concept, right? But let's unpack it a bit. Imagine you have two twins. One stays here on Earth, while the other embarks on a space journey, traveling at near the speed of light. The spacefaring twin is moving so fast relative to his sibling on Earth that his clock, or his perception of time, slows down. This is known as time dilation. It's a bit like watching a movie in slow motion. To the spacefaring twin, his own clock seems to be ticking normally. But when he returns to Earth, he finds his twin has aged more than he has. This is the famous twin paradox thought experiment. It's not a paradox in the true sense, but it highlights the strange and counterintuitive nature of Einstein's theory of relativity. So the faster you move, the slower your time relative to stationary observers. This is a real measurable effect. Atomic clocks flown around the world have returned, showing less time has passed for them compared to stationary ones. Now let's push this concept to the extreme. What if you could somehow reach the speed of light? According to the theory of relativity, if you could reach this unimaginable speed, time for you would come to a halt. You'd be frozen in a moment while the universe ages around you. So if you could somehow reach the speed of light, time would in theory stand still. And that, my friends, is the mind-boggling world of time dilation and the speed of light. So, what have we discovered today about time and the speed of light? Well, we've learned that the speed of light remains constant, no matter how fast we're moving. This fascinating principle leads to time dilation, where time appears to slow down at high speeds. It's a concept that challenges our everyday perceptions, pushing the boundaries of what we thought we knew. It's a mind-boggling concept, isn't it? But that's the beauty of physics. It constantly challenges our understanding of the world around us.